Hey everybody, so I had to actually start this video over again. <sighs> I was just not on point with that. So, let's see here. I'm doing Gemini's reading for February. Um, I have the disclaimer in the description box, so please take a chance, uh, not a chance, take a moment to read it. Also, there's a couple of different things that I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do. I have been asked several times about personal readings, and at this time, it's not that I don't want to do them. It's just that I don't feel that I'm at that status yet. So I'm still, ooh, I'm still trying to figure out when that's going to start. Um, and I will, of course, give more detail, details when that happens. I need to slow down. My mind is, you know, thinking too fast. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. So the last time I actually, um, just started picking the cards and then I read them afterwards. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try and do that for this reading. I might switch it out. I might just see, you know, what pops out. Um, when I shuffle or I just might start picking them, but let's go ahead and see how it ends up when I, um, do it a different way. All right. So this is going to be the February reading for Gemini. So I'm going to pick four cards. That's what I want to do. Four cards. <clears throat> All right. So give me a second. I know <coughs> this is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I know I'm always coughing, y'all. I really feel like I <coughs> I feel like I got bronchitis, but it's like it comes and goes. So We shall see. Okay, so give me some information about Gemini. Okay, so that came out. It's so funny. These cards are hard to shuffle. These are the modern witch tarot deck, and these are hard to shuffle. Oops, I'm about to lose something. <clears throat> and the reason I kind of want to do it this way, I know I'm being quiet, but the reason I want to do it this way is so I can kind of see a big picture and then. I can be able to kind of tell a story by seeing what the cards are. Man, I don't even smoke, but I sound like someone that smokes. All right. So, got my four. Let's go ahead. I know this kind of defeats the purpose of what I just did. All right, so let's start at the top here. So we have <clears throat> Firm Foundation, and this is a reading for Gemini. We have The Waiting Game. We have Solar Plexus Chakra, and it's in the reverse. And then we have Conflict and de de Defeat. Oh my gosh. All right, so this all is kind of just... A situation that you're going through Gemini so like I said before 
this could be you, Gemini, like your situation. It could be someone that you're dealing with situation or someone around you and vice versa if you're a cross, cross watcher. But this is basically telling me that there's something that you lost confidence in within yourself. And with this firm foundation being here, it kind of reminds me when I see the firm foundation is that everything that you think of that is security. So like a job, a home. So maybe there's an issue where you lost a job or lost something and you don't feel like you have that firm foundation. Like you feel like broken. Um, so with this being here, the solar plexus chakra in the reverse, this is letting me know that you kind of lost your confidence and your self-esteem because of losing something. And usually that, that could be a job. It could be a person. Um, and you just feel defeated at this time. Like you feel like giving up. You feel weak. Like this person is falling. Like you just don't care. Like I feel like you're giving up. And you're either waiting for something to turn in your favor. Or you're feeling like you're just not getting anywhere. Like you're just like time has stopped. You're just stuck in this rut but with this waiting game being here this kind of lets me know that there's always going to be some end at some point so you're not always going to feel conflicted or defeated or have self um low self-esteem or low confidence because things can change you just have to wait it out so i kind of feel like this is what the universe is telling you um to go ahead and wait it out but you will have to feel these emotions that you're going through right now then with the energy oracle cards, we have the thinking man. We have door to spirit. Man holding a heart. And the world. So this kind of delves a little bit deeper into the situation. Like you're in a thought process right now where you're just thinking about everything that has happened to you. This world card, when this comes out, this for me is that something has changed and you've seen the reality of a situation. So you're thinking about what happened. You're trying to get in tune um, with this door to spirit. This, in my opinion, is something positive. So <clears throat> like you have the dove, which is peace. So I feel that you, your ultimate goal is to be peaceful. You want to be able to have peace within your spirit. And that's what this card is telling me. So I feel like that's what the waiting game is, is you want to get to a point where you don't feel a pain. You don't feel defeated, that you feel good about yourself. Um, with this man holding a heart, this could this situation or could be even heightened by the fact that maybe you were involved in a relationship with somebody um, and you actually were willing to give your heart to them and you're still stuck on the fence about that. So if we're looking at it as like a love reading, then you're thinking about whether or not you want to move forward with this person or not. Um, because you're holding your heart. So you're just thinking about your life at this point in all aspects, money, uh, employment, love relationships all that so i feel like you're just thinking about everything and that's what the world card is here you're seeing the reality of what can happen you're seeing the reality of how you're feeling and you're just really in a deep thought with the <coughs> with the um tarot cards here we have the tower so this tower moment whatever it was is possibly the reason why you feel conflicted and defeated. And I think that the tower moment has passed and you're just waiting it out. Or you could be actively going through this at this time. So when I think about the tower, and I obviously you can see here, it's all about chaos. So things are not going the way that you want them to. And you just feel like broken. Like you just feel like there's a lot of stuff that you have to handle. And you don't know how to escape. You don't know how to get rid of it so tower moment that's what's happening something is going on and you're just feeling like broke down about it then we have the three of wands this is somebody that in my opinion is trying to build and they're watching everything else and everybody else 
while trying to build what they what they have going on. And that's just my interpreta interpretation of this card, the Three of Wands. So you're trying to get yourself back in order, but you're busy watching and looking either into the future as far as trying to do too much instead of focusing on what you need to do. So that could be something that's holding you back. Then we have the judgment card. So this right here is me feeling like you, Gemini, or whoever this is for, you feel like people are constantly looking, they're possibly looking up to you. And I know that like, how do I say this? It looks like these people are coming out of caskets. <laughs> Like, I really feel like these people are coming out of caskets. So it's like you're looking for something and you feel like you have to find an answer about something. Like people are looking to you to possibly maybe make them feel better or help them out in some way. And you're feeling like you have like so much stuff that you have to do. Like so many responsibilities. That's what I'm getting from this card. Like you're trying to make some type of decision about something. And people are watching you and waiting to see what you're going to do. That's what I was trying to say. <clears throat> and it's funny because from what I'm picking up with this, I feel like you're watching. People are watching you to see what you're going to, what decision you're going to make. And you're watching other people to see what they got, what they have going on. So it's kind of weird. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is basically stating that whatever this situation you have going, tower situation, decision that you have to make, that it's going to come into a perspective of you finding the answer. Now, keep in mind with the Wheel of Fortune that this is something that can change. But as of right now, I feel like whatever decision you make will be a, a good decision because you're going to be coming out on top with that. So whatever this hard decision that you have to make, I feel like you need to go ahead and make it and stick with your decision to do so. <clears throat> with the romance angels, we have getting to know each other. So as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So like I said earlier, we have the solar plexus chakra in reverse. So you're feeling not as confident. You're feeling like your self-esteem is jacked up. And this card here is telling you that you need to love yourself first. So don't forget to love yourself because if not, then any decision that you make is not even going to be worth it because you're still going to be stuck in that energy of not feeling confident and having low self-esteem. And then you're never going to trust and believe that anything can happen good for you. Anything good can happen for you. Then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that to me is just saying that whoever you have in mind that you're interested in, you should go ahead and go with your intuition and move forward with it if it's something that you actually want to do. If you're feeling these romantic feelings for this person, this is basically saying that you need to explore them because by not exploring things that you want to you want to do, you're going to miss out. I mean, that's pretty simple with that. Then we have the true love in reverse. This is the romance of a lifetime. So you feel that you have not found the one. And this is really what I'm picking up with this card. So it doesn't matter if you have romantic feelings for someone or you're communicating with them, getting to know them. You still do not believe that they're the one. So that's basically saying to you that you need to open up and allow yourself to feel. So with this whole reading here, it's just a lot going on, Gemini. Gemini. Like you're just thinking about something, you're just feeling like very low. And it could be that maybe other people don't see you that way, but you see yourself that way, which is like 
probably the worst thing than what other people think about you because love yourself first is the the goal you have to love yourself <clears throat> but as far as the romance side of it there's someone that you do have feelings for and you're just afraid to open up to them because you feel I feel like this person is someone that could actually be your true love and you feel like you're not good enough <coughs> excuse me <laughs> so just get to know people you know as far as the relationship aspect of things um in your personal life aside from the romance you have to figure out what this tower moment was so like I said it could be anything it could be a relationship gone bad it could be losing a job but you have to stop watching others and comparing yourself to what they have going on. Because in my opinion, that's not going to work. <clears throat> like you have people looking at you, you're looking at people. And it's kind of like, you just have to be yourself. That's really what I'm picking up. That you have to be yourself and trust your decisions that you make. And know that everything's going to be all, all right. So I did this reading a little bit different than I usually would. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys liked it. It kind of made sense to me, but I sometimes ramble. So, you know, if it doesn't make sense or you see something different, definitely put that in the comment section. Um, but that is all for Gemini's reading for February. So I will see you guys in the next video.